that? You're <laughs> cracking me up, dude. You're getting all crabby. He says I'm getting crabby. Well, it is the second day. Third day? Second day. It's third day. It is third day of rifle season here in Colorado. And no elk have been killed yet. We have seen a bunch of elk every day. We've seen bulls every day and we have seen cows every day. But nothing that we could get to. A lot of it's on private. No giants other than the first morning. But we're taking a little midday break and we're gonna go do a little fishing relieve some pressure take out some stress on the fish well i mean what can we so christopher lives on the river it's beautiful down here i'll show you when we get down here but y'all catch rainbows rainbows brown trout uh round tail chubs white fish uh, the occasional cutthroat uh, and suckers well, I, I, always my, I have my fly rod in the truck Oh well, back. I brought my uh, my little crappie rod, so we're gonna get down here and uh, throw some lines in the water before we have to go back out and uh, hunt this afternoon, and hopefully we catch some dinner, catch some trout, cook them up. Here's the river, and that is a moo cow. So you just fish these pockets, or are they in the rapids uh, too? You fish right along the edges of the rapids. The big browns like to hang out right up against the steep banks in a little bit deeper water. So you walk this edge. We're gonna go down here in the corner. Gotcha. Windshield's a little dirty. Great window. You got right up on it, don't you? Right up in it. Black kind of fishing. Man, this is pretty. Mountains and fishing. Mountain fishing. Richard, when's the last time you came fishing in Colorado? Oh, it's been probably 12 or 15 years. Well, what are you using? You're using a little rooster tail yeah. with a little blade on it. All right, yeah. catch us some dinner. That's the plan. All right, Chris is up. He's fighting good. Oh, dude, that's a big fish. Uh, brown? White fish. White fish. I've never caught a white fish. Are they good to eat? Yeah, those are the good ones. Sweet. More dinner. They're kind of bony, but other than that, they're too tasty. So, uh, Christopher has no shame, but see that? Call that the number 16 pinky. <laughs> the worm. Night crawler. I'm excited to try this. I've never, uh, never even seen a white fish, I don't think. Yeah, and they're not, you know, these aren't very hardy, so I mean, most of the time, if you catch them, they end up dying, so they're better to keep. They also eat the brown uh, brown trout eggs, so if you're catching more than these than trout, you want to get them out of the river, decrease the population. So. Sweet. String of time. Oh, we'll start off with the white fish. Oh, we only had an hour, about an hour to uh, fish before we're going back out. So I'm going to clean these up real quick and throw them on ice. Start with the whitefish. Never seen one in my life. Never uh, caught one. Put him out of his misery real quick. So I imagine I'm going to clean it like I would any other fish. And uh, just fillet it out. Run my knife down the backbone I don't have the best didn't come prepared with a fishing fillet knife see what this old meat looks like
Oh, they have some really small bones in them. Their rib cage goes down about halfway down their body. White fish fillet. It's got bones. We got a fish on. Oh, it's a big boy. Here, Richard. That's a big fish, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. playing good. Don't let him get off. That's a big fish. Please, please be a big brown. Oh man, that's a big old fish. Is that brown, you think? Probably. May need to tighten his drag a little bit. No, he's right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a huge rainbow. That is a big old rainbow. Have you ever caught a big rainbow? Not that big. Oh my goodness. Get into the bank. <laughs> Don't tighten it too much. Is that the biggest rainbow you've seen, Chris? Well, it's pretty close. We get some good ones out here. That looks like a monster, though. Where'd he come from? I don't know. Here, handle it. Here. We're letting this guy go. He's too big to keep. Thank you, man. He's still taking drag, and I tightened it up. Oh, all right, just we'll keep playing. Look at that rainbow. I've never seen a rainbow that big. That thing is huge. Oh, he's all caught in it. Look at that. Oh, right. What a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got to get some pictures with this guy and get him released. Swallowed it. We'll try to get that. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. So I got the whitefish fillets all cleaned up. I'm gonna do this trout hole. I'm gonna kill him real quick. So all I'm gonna do is cut his head off. And we'll go up from the vent, cut up, and take these guts out. Wash them up, and you always want to run your thumb down the middle and get that blood out. It's easier to do it in the water. That's it right there. That's a clean trout. We're gonna cook them whole tonight. And we'll try out these whitefish fillets. So I'm gonna throw these in a bag and toss them in the cooler and then I'll catch you guys in the kitchen. We're going elk hunt. Stay tuned for the next couple videos. Hopefully we can get elk on the ground. Woo! I am back at home from the trip. Uh, we did not have time, unfortunately, to cook them while we were up there. Um, and unfortunately, I forgot the fish in Chris's cooler, he cooked them up for his family though. So nothing went to waste. But thankfully I had some rainbows in the freezer from my last trip to Colorado. So what I did here is split them in half. Um, and I'm just going to do a dry brine and season them up. 
and then I'm gonna throw them on the Traeger. I got the Traeger set to 360, and I'm gonna get these guys set on. Um, I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna get them smoked, and uh, we'll pull them off, pick the meat apart, and make the famous mullet man fish dip. I love fish dip. Anytime I get a chance to make it with fresh trout um, or semi-fresh trout, I love to do it. So I'm gonna get this. All I'm using is critter, gr critter glitter, fish and fowl, pepper, and salt. Traeger. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down and uh, let them cook for a little while. I'll come check on them about every five to ten minutes, and uh, then we'll be making some fish dip. All right, I just pulled the fish off the Traeger. It is perfectly cooked. Looks amazing. Smells delicious. Now this is another way you can do like a fish dip. Serve a fish dip platter. Make you some crackers. Um, a little block of cream cheese. A little slice of cream cheese on a cracker and then just break you off a piece of this fish I like that nice crust make sure there's no bones get you some of that fresh trout and down the hatch she goes and that is it that right there is pretty good I do like the fish dip better where I mix it up, but this is something cool that you can serve at like a party or um, a holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. It looks good, set out some smoked fish, set out some crackers, some cream cheese, you can put some chives out there, stuff like that to uh, fancy it up, but it is really good. I'll give it like a six and a half, seven out of 10. Um, it's really, I think it is best suited for uh, events and parties and stuff like that, but um, you can also marinate your fish um, overnight or for a couple hours. I just did a dry uh, dry brine and uh, it turned out pretty good. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned, the elk hunting action becomes a lot better. So stay tuned for the next couple videos. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.